everyone, we are the Babbling Team. As the Babbling Team, we want to ensure that families with premature children will have full-time access to the right support, services and professional help that they need to feel empowered and capable of providing optimal care to their children. Centered on diagnostics, informational delivery and pre-linguistic learning, Babbling offers this AI toolkit in attempt to cultivate an adaptive transition from intensive care to homes with a sense of control and regained confidence that was lost during the first few months of life. Babbling intends to provide an AI diagnostic toolkit for detecting and improving pre-linguistic language development in premature children between the ages of one to two years, so within their first year of life. A specialized AI-integrated co-sharing and support digital space will be made available for parents via an app where they can access from different devices to interact with other parents who have also given birth to a premature child or children. The main component of this toolkit is the AI, which will be used by our primary stakeholders to help detect any signs of language development issues within the first years of learning development. One of the most prominent issues that we have identified and began investigating is the lack of focus on young premature children's language development in early childhood. Through our research study, it is predicted that long-term negative outcomes will increase their young to later life if not addressed now. Reflecting the critical importance of language, early intensive behavioural interventions target communication skills, whether verbal or non-verbal, to improve developmental trajectory young children with autism. A critical achievement in babies' early learning stages of neurotypical development is the emergence of pre-linguistic vocalisations that form the basis of functional human communication. Atypicalities in these early vocalizations are indicators of altered development that can be analyzed to detect early onset of neurodevelopmental disabilities. In typical infants, pre-linguistic vocalizations emerge during the first months of life and continually progress in change in appearance, frequency, complexity, and variability. Milestones during the first year of life include the transition from cooing to babbling and proto-words to the first conventional words. The age at which early pre-linguistic vocalisation appear is considered significant to the development of typical speech language function and has been extensively studied. Even as adults, we continue to use pre-linguistic skills to communicate. These can include gestures, eye contact, facial expressions, imitation, joint attention, and non-word vocalisation. A baby who has difficulty looking at their parents and attending to them while talking has fewer opportunities to see how words and sounds are made. Language difficulties are especially prevalent in premies. This includes articulation and expressive language delays, which can be exhibited as poor vocabulary and grammar. Premature birth will likely have long-term consequences, affecting not just the linguistic development beyond preschool, and how they will interact and form meaningful interpersonal and personal relationships. A lack of, or more rather, an overload of information is debriefed between the parents, nurses, and doctors prior to fully discharging a premie from the NICU. With babbling, we can make information easier to digest while making things even better by making sure you can access the information you need with any questions that come up from the comfort of your own home. We will work with all stakeholders from neonatal nurses for when further attention is required, speech therapists and specialists and more to provide both the emotional and professional support you and other groups of parents need to feel confident and capable. And so following on from this, our design proposition. So through each of our initial innovations, we ultimately intend on providing our target audience with one, an information delivery toolkit for Premi parents' concerns and milestone recognition, as well as a support community amongst other parents with Premies. And two, adaptive monitor transition diagnostic tool, which we scrap to prevent giving you more stress and reminders about your intense and overwhelming experience at the NICU, and better off separating the aspects of the NICU from the home environment. Number three, the overarching focus of creating a comfortable and simulating a safe field during that transition where premies are discharged from intensive care to a normal home setting. From these key points and after some re-evaluation, the Babbling app covers three of our top three innovations and components. Number one, digital co-sharing workshops and support space, a co-sharing platform to enable inclusivity, understanding and comfort amongst app users experiencing similar challenges. Number two, an AI pre-linguistic vocalization toolkit, so an AI diagnostic tool for detecting language delays in early learning stages in premature children. Number three, adaptive transition, catering towards ensuring both parents and children have an adaptive transition from the NICU to home setting. 
Now for our project direction. To make our move in helping families with premies detect and improve their language development difficulties as soon as possible, babbling and a multidisciplinary team of specialists can ensure that you can reach out in these simple steps with our app. Number one, parents will set up their phone adjacent to their child when it's producing sounds. Number two, they will record their child's audible output for a period of time and then submit it to the Babbling database. Number three, the app analyzes sequence will decode the voice and measure all necessary characteristics such as pitch, timing, volume, and etc. Number four, the app then feeds all measurements into an algorithm which looks for patterns similar to those modeled within the vocal database. And number five, a diagnostic graphic will be produced after results have been gathered. The app is designed through the following criteria. It has to be non-invasive and have minimal hardware, thus the app format. It must be easy for parents and guardians to monitor, it must be a source of information for all parental concerns, and finally, it'll be a co-sharing platform to enable inclusivity, understanding and comfort amongst app users experiencing similar challenges.